do another one? Yeah. <laughs> this is this is really fun. <laughs> Welcome to Seven Dudes of a Topic. Why is Tim never at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> Tim, could you give me some water? Yeah, dude, can I get some water too, please? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, here, I can get myself water. Is there any pizza? Tim, oh, yes. can yes, you put in a pizza? Two uncooked pizzas. Can you put in a pizza while you're at it, Tim? <laughs> I, can do, I can warm up. It needs to Yes. Alright, Ted, uh, Tim, I'm pretty I'm sure this is yours and I'm gonna need help. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> we have the sandwich. Is it, is it, is it, is it in that weird accent feet. that he gave us at the at the last sandwich. topic? Okay, so the we topic have, is you know that, Ryan? we have seventy four feet of sandwich over here. <gasps> so the topic is did first blood affect eighties action movies and how? Ooh. And there's a bonus question. Did it uh, did you put effect? Okay. <laughs> Did it affect moderate, modern action? So, first question is, did it affect 80s action movies, and how? And then the second question is, did it erect? It did looks it erect like, it looks did like, it your penis? It looks like it erect. <laughs> With two R's. No way, Tim. It probably is erect. <laughs> did, did it, it erect, erect any question? Modern action movies. Uh, you should give us that, just so we... No, no, no. Just so the uh, question. So you can read it? Okay. Yeah, um, so we can remember so the So Tim, do you want to start this out? Yeah, man. I just got Ryan's bread. Hey, and you found the mustard. Good the show. Mustard. I don't need any mustard. Thank no, you. I see how it is. Ungrateful bitch. Yeah. Tim. Tim, uh, question's up. Right. Did, did Rambo yes. affect 80s action movies and did it affect modern ones? I don't know. I think it came at the beginning of the 80s, so I would hope it did, but ultimately, I kind of feel like, fuck no, it did not. The reason I say that is because 80s, at least in memory, is defined by like, boom, bang. Get to the chopper! And then, <laughs> minigun. Is that worse? Right? Now gone. A horse riding a helicopter? It could be, very well. <laughs> <laughs> but. Why would you look at a horse riding a helicopter? Because that's exactly what that sound was. At least. So it's a, it's a bonus it. feature in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure with Napoleon <laughs> sitting in the back of the chopper with a minigun. With a minigun? He's like the, the weapon guy. Off <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, it's like, it's like in The Sopranos where you put like a, a horse head a horse head on your bed. You're like, oh shit, someone tried to kill me. But if someone puts a horse instead of a chopper with a machine gun, <laughs> oh fuck, the whole city's gonna get set on fire. <laughs> Yeah, what he said. Symbolic. <laughs> Moreover, it's and one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. <laughs> the one that comes in a helicopter. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that was Ric Flair. <laughs> okay, it's I would say... Yes. Ow! That's mildly inconvenient. When people the actually the helicopter. think about it, above a city yes. in Italy, uh, like a really religious really city in Italy, but ultimately, so the no. entire Italy. Okay. So, if it didn't affect 80s action movies, then it probably, in your opinion, didn't affect modern action movies. I think people look upon it fondly. Fondly, they don't fondle it. They look upon it fondly. Hmm. But, because it was, it seems more thoughtful, and ultimately what tends to draw people is things that mean shit. And this meant something, at least. <laughs> so... I would hope it did, but I can't find a direct cause and effect, so I have to say no. So, you would so, like for right. it to have affected movies that came after it, but you don't think it ultimately did. Right. So, right. why do you think... Can I, can I, uh... Can, uh... Are, are we are we debating this or are we going and be like no oh, we're just going your person by person opinion. yeah so okay I think it was a uh, staple in the eighties action uh, because it was new it was gory and in the eighties they weren't used to seeing the type of things that we're used to seeing now and so. Yeah, I'd probably say because it started a fat. It started uh, wearing red bandanas was to be intimidating yeah. and a badass. So it had to have. It had to have been. Um, I can't think of a single action movie now that I'm like, oh, that would be badass if I had an Expendables T-shirt on. 
Yeah, people would fear me. That's how I would relate red bandana. Right. Okay. Anyway, and so, yeah, also I think that it's a way for, or it has an effect on us now uh, with action movies, just by the way that, like, it was even, even by the way it was shot. As him searching for something and then uh, cause and effect makes all that and has that weird emotional scene at the end. <laughs> so That weird thing just punched it. Right, who wants to go next? Are, uh, I, I'll go. Are you going to put some dashes in that or just play with it? Uh, <clears throat> it was what I was drinking water out of. That's disgusting. Well, <coughs> how, how Rocky did change everything. It changed everything from this perspective. Mm -hmm. It made things like very more, you know, like marketing outside of the box. Like action figures, video yeah. games. I got a question though, that's good, but what about Rainbow? Rainbow, yeah. You said Rocky. Yeah, that's what I mean. You kept <laughs> calling, <laughs> calling him Rainbow the entire time. <laughs> Ten minutes Hey, away. hey, he was fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very colorful guy. His Sorry, hair was me. beautiful. But yeah, 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 with, with Rambo. The character is Frank Mercury. Frank Mercury. <laughs> He's a real star of the show. <laughs> but yeah, so like in, in, in terms of like, because uh, Rocky's like one of the more symbolic action heroes of like the 80s, you know, it really was. You know, it's like, it started changing things like making war movies where things started getting increasingly more violent. I like some John claude Van Damme movies were trying to be like a... Uh, you know, like very very violent too, like have their war movies mm -hmm. and whatnot. But they also had a message about sand blindness. Picture <laughs> 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 imagine, you imagine a day at the beach. <laughs> so it's just like he's doing a date with his girlfriend. He's like, ah! 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 And every fighting movie he had, that was his finishing move. That was his move. No, absolutely. Yeah, was, and let's give John Claude Van Damme a little bit of credit. He's one hell of a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I know it's just for yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go dance. Have you seen my wrestling singlet? <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta dance. <laughs> I don't wanna fight, Dad. <laughs> Forget Kevin Bacon. Uh, but, uh, Sean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> really yeah, but, but yeah, in terms of like marketing and influence, yeah, I mean, I mean, he ups the ante of violence in every movie that he tries to do, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of like, you know, like even scene. boxing, like boxing movies, like they're all trying to like be what Rocky was, like wouldn't, mm -hmm. like, just how influential a person, about Rocky. a Sylvester Stallone is, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying yeah. for Sylvester yeah. Stallone. Oh, okay, I'm just okay, saying okay. he's he's that influential where like what he did for rock, for like boxing movies is what he did for like action movies when he came to Rambo. Mm -hmm. So that's just how influential he is. Like yeah. again, he shows more range than fucking uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. My name is Detective Richard Kimball. Whoa, 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 whoa! Exactly. Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> Think of one Sylvester Stallone movie where he's a substitute. <laughs> 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 no, but he has done action comedies like. Um, Stop where my mom <coughs> shoot. Yeah, and that's a better movie, in my opinion. Um, or his porno. Or his porno. I think Arnold is better in comedy. Okay, well, well, that's because like, you're not necessarily laughing at the jokes, you're just laughing at Junior Arnold. Junior, twins. Trying this to is say lines. Yeah. <laughs> twins. Arnold really knows who he is. Huh. Yeah, that's a good, that's yeah. a good point. I think he's, he's working, he's, he's working really to his face. At, at yeah, he's working to his face. Yeah, um, but yeah, but yeah, it's pretty influential. So change. He ups to Andy all the time, and pe people, in a sense, try to be like his movies. I I think it it definitely made a uh, impact on Andy's action movies because if you go up to someone and you're just like, hey, Rambo, even if they haven't seen the movies, they're going to have an idea of what you're talking about. They know what Rambo is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a household name. Yeah, but, because uh, you're like uh, it's even in a figure of speech. Oh yeah, like okay. they went. Okay, around. what is this figure yeah. speak? Yeah. What? Like, don't go in there, in there like. Oh yeah, yeah. Or, like going in there like Rambo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah. Who Who do you think you are, Rambo? <laughs> um. When I remember when I was a kid, I was <laughs> like, I was saying like, Bozo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just finish that thought. 
Um, I think it definitely has an impact on 80s movies. Um, because of that movie, there was a huge increase in sales of big knives with compasses in the bottom of them, huh. with hollow handles. Yeah. Like, they sold a ton after that movie. Um, and I think it really started action movies with a soul. Like, it actually had a point in more of a heartfelt message to it. Mm -hmm. Instead of most action movies just kind of being like, oh, we're going to blow stuff up and kill people, it added in kind of an extra layer that said, hey, these movies can be taken a little more seriously. Mm. Um, and, of course, I, that in turn affects how movies are made now. Also, the political part of Rambo, mm -hmm. or First Blood, uh, like, do you think that they did a lot of that in the 80s with the Vietnam War? In particular, or do you think that was, was sure. I mean, do you think that was such a huge part of? But do you think it was as controversial mm -hmm. as it was in this? Um, Let's just. No, I don't, I don't think opinion, it was as much knowledge. in the forefront in movies. I don't think as it is in Rambo. Like it really kind of centers the movie and really wraps it up as the whole idea of the Vietnam War and the veterans right. and the stuff that they went through. And, and yeah, and the way we treated them when we yeah, got them. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think it's something that was necessarily like in a bunch of movies, but I'm, I'm sure, I mean, I haven't seen every movie in the 80s, but I'm sure there's movies that kind of tackle that kind of stuff. I mean, there was a, what, Full Metal Jacket? When was that made? Yeah. Um, 86 or something. Huh? I don't think it was in the 80s. Or 86. Was it 90s? Uh... Anyway, yeah, I think it was the 80s, but... Um, I don't know a lot of 80s movies, a lot of 80s action movies, so I kind of feel like I could kind of bullshit my way through a response of whether it affected 80s action films, you know, because I don't really know a lot of them, so I think I don't really know the movies well enough to, to make an educated response to that. But I will say this, I feel like it is comparable to Die Hard. Mm -hmm. um, and how good of a movie it was and how much it affected the movies that were made after it. Because you got to look at it this way. Any movie that came out in the 80s and made lots of lots of money and was really, really popular, they're emulating those things now because that was what made a lot of money. So any movie that came after that is going to have some influence uh, um, from the original storyline. Like right now we're doing tons of like trilogies and... Uh, you know, like Hunger Games came out and had success after Harry Potter came out and had a lot of success. And so right now we're going in that kind of... But every movie, when it comes out and it's really popular, is going to have an effect on the movies that come after it. So I think definitely it affected not only 80s action movies, but action movies now. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah, I think it's really good. That was a good question, too. Good topic. So not only... Well, I, I need to touch base a little bit more on... Uh, Rambo being an idol to uh, 80s boys. Because uh, I mean, like, you. <laughs> yeah, I. And then it. What, okay, Barack Obama. <laughs> All I heard oh, was, hey, I didn't talk about this. Rambo being an like 80s boys. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't okay. read that. I didn't read no, that. Being an idol. Idol. I looked up, I saw Narn look up. You like, said being an idol for for yeah for, for kids. eighties ki for yeah. kids in the eighties. Yeah. yeah, real quick, yeah, the bandana. But I mean, you'd also like see posters of Rambo on on walls. I remember pretending yeah. Rambo. Yeah, and then and yeah. then I I started thinking there was multiple uh, actors as eighties uh, heroes or eighties idols. Like you had Chuck Norris, you had Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Then you had some of Dolph Lundgren. Uh, anyway, and then we don't have that now, by the way. We don't have, we have like Mark Wahlberg. All Sylvester Stallone movies, by the way. And you saw Science I Come Watch Watch Maybe. So, I, I, I mean, I'm just saying. No, no, no I know. There, I, there I mean, isn't a plethora of action stars. There's a few. Yeah. Right. Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Yeah. yeah, I know, but I, you, know. You, you can say, you can start like, like Jackie Chan. Action. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, not anymore. But like that type of, yeah. Jet Keanu Lee. Reeves. Only Wahlberg is modern. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> That's but modern. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, I was just gonna add in that little bit more, and you did. You did. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Well, that'll do it for that round. Great. Yeah, we'll end up touching eighties boys. <laughs>